Oh yeah, platforming. Jumping from one area to the next is something that just never gets old. Be it on a mouse and keypad, 360 controller, NES controller, or even a jump rope, it evokes a sense of childhood glee, energy, emotion, and something that nothing else can do. Give you a true sense of complete freedom. Independent games are all about exploration, innovation, and just plain fresh fun. Jump, the first in the series of games from French developer Arcado, gives you all the platforming pleasure without jumping on your wallet. So there's this giant enemy crab made of iron and he comes to bomb the place up. So we need a yellow Indiana Jones known as Jump Boy to come and save the day and stop the bombs. What more could you need from an 8-bit-esque platformer? So the point of the game is to get through each level and collect ticking time bombs before they explode. Sometimes it's simply platforming to them, other times it's about collecting cash to break the piggy banks, and sometimes it's just about getting to the finish. On your way, you'll have to dodge crabs, bats, skeletons, fire, giant boulders, and the greatest enemy in all of gaming, gravity. You win this round, Isaac Newton. <laughs> One thing to really enjoy about the game is its sense of humor. References to games and gaming are embedded all over the game, like some pretty clever losing life screams. Pro tip, press A to jump, and bam, you're dead? Damn, this game's harsh. They even got some pretty creative names for the levels, too. Army of Crabness? Have a Knife Day? These titles are just so cheesy that they're awesome. But then there's this one. Close your eyes and press left? Okay. Yeah! Wow! Now the game has a nice variety of levels and isn't terribly challenging to play. However, the game is so 8-bit that if you lose all your lives, it's all the way back to the start. We haven't had a game like this in a while. No save points, no continues, and no password screen. It's a simple game with about 3 or 4 hours of gameplay that isn't quite as deep or challenging as something like Mario, but it only costs you a sweet 240 Microsoft points. 3 bucks for 4 hours and some challenge modes afterwards? That's a steal! If you have any kind of extra Microsoft points just laying around doing nothing, you could do a hell of a lot worse than getting yourself jump on your Xbox 360. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry for some crab soup.